Okay, hi, yeah, so today we're just uh, doing a super quick video. Um, I need to get my uh, stuff ready for Sweden. I've got a shoot and I'm going to see my son for a couple of days. So like what I need to do is I need to pack my regular camera bag. It's gonna keep the uh, FX3 with the uh, Tamron 35 to 150, the Sony 1635G Master. I'm gonna have the, the Ivascope uh, anamorphic adapter that's gonna be here. I also need my memory card reader and this time I'm actually gonna bring the, uh, the sizes in this bag. Uh, I actually shot a project on the size last week. It was, uh, it was actually amazing. It was so sharp but still a bit of character. So I'm gonna bring the sizes. What I'm also gonna bring is the, uh, the Takumars, I've packed those in, in the hard case with the FX6. Because with the FX6 I packed the entire Takumar lineup. I've packed my small HD Cine 7. I've packed yeah, the FX6, the Blazar uh, anamorphic adapter. I'm gonna try to make some footage of both because it's uh, fairly nice in, um, in Sweden where I'm going. Um, yeah, you know, regular step up rings that I need. I'm also probably gonna need a side handle. Perfect. I'm also getting a new cage for the FX3 because I've got the tilt one. I love the tilt cage, but I hate the top handle. So I'm gonna try the small rig cage. And as you can see, I'm in my office and usually it's not this cluttered. Um, like since I'm going, I'm just packing. Like there you have the hard case, there you have the bag. And yeah, I'm a bit stressed. I'm also looking to uh, make a video about um, Black Magic Cloud. I just found, I think it was Jamie Fenn who made a super short tutorial on how to use your uh, how to use your phone as a um, viewing monitor, which is perfect because usually the thing you do are for phones. So uh, yeah, that, that that's about it. I'm gonna try to to make a small vlog or when I am in Sweden. I just wanted to give you an update that um, I'm super happy with the feedback I got on the Dehancer video. Uh, also, I love Dehancer. You can also ask Mika. He's, he's probably one of the persons I know that was the most skeptical about it in the beginning, but now he's just, he's totally sold on it. And he also has my uh, Aria Mira at the moment, uh, trying them out with the DZO film Kata Zooms, yeah, yeah, I think that's the name. So, um, yeah, there's a few things going on. I'm flying tomorrow at 10.55, and this is recorded on the Wednesday then, of course. But um, yeah, so as you can see, this is my office. Usually it's a lot cleaner. I'm gonna clean it now before I leave, so I get back to a nice and fresh office. And um, yeah, there's gonna be all around the, uh, the movie, there's just, super small b-rolls today of me packing the bag but um, yeah that's about it I also am gonna do a review no no I'm not I was kidding I'm not gonna do a review oh yeah well not a review but kind of a comparison in between the Blazar Nero which is a thousand euro adapter an amorphic adapter and the Ivascope which is a 2500 euro adapter to see which one we like the most, which one is the easiest to use, which one gives the most pleasing image and all of those things. So um, yeah, otherwise, I mean, thanks for watching. And uh, like I said, super quick movie today. So bye.